In this video, I will be discussing a huge Bitcoin move that can just be around the corner and I will be exactly discuss my price targets, the levels that you need to pay attention towards and on top of that, I will be discussing the most important Bitcoin charts that you need to be seeing right now here. So don't forget to slap up the like on this video because on the previous video, we smashed it up above 580 likes and almost reaching 600 likes. So can we do it on today's update video? Smash up that like like button and let's jump straight away in towards the content and let me start off with discussing the imminent short term on Bitcoin and once looking at this chart right away we can see that Bitcoin has started to be bouncing from our support level right here however it has not been a very strong bounce and like I told you guys last time around here if we do break below the 20.7k basically the low of this range right here I am expecting that Bitcoin could be reaching levels around the 19,000 US dollars however if I look at at the 4 hourly chart on Bitcoin, I want to be setting up a parallel channel and if I set up a parallel channel from the low here on the market and uses this trend line right here like you can see, we are currently looking at a very interesting trend on this market because yes, like you can currently see, Bitcoin is basically trading in a huge larger time frame parallel channel and like you can see currently we're trading on the lower side of the parallel channel and for me also it's going to be a huge confirmation, Bitcoin is going to be coming lower in case we do break below this very important level of upward sloping support if we do break below it Bitcoin is probably going to be in for an even more significant correction so these are definitely the levels that will be telling me to either open a potential shorting position or either to wait on the sidelines for a little bit longer furthermore you can clearly see on the daily time frame after breaking down of the rising wedge that our technical price target is still around at 19,000 US dollars what was approximately a 20% correction from high to low and currently like you can see after failing to hold on towards the 21.5k as support currently we are retesting it as resistance so if bitcoin is going to see a rejection from this level it is going to be only more likely to see bitcoin coming down even further on to potentially reach its price target around the $19,000. However, I do still think many people are very afraid right now, but I do still think that this is actually the time to be dollar cost averaging in towards the market because Bitcoin is definitely on the cheaper side right now, but I will be explaining about why it is a good dollar cost average region right now in a second from now on. So make sure to watch this video till the end because you definitely do not want to be missing out on that part. Furthermore, you can see on the daily time frame is that we formed a pretty nice bear flag here on the uh, daily time frame or just a parallel channel however you want to call it of course we can definitely call this a bear flag after seeing a significant drop in the market and a small little upward sloping support trend getting started however if we in case really break this upward sloping support line right here I think Bitcoin is going to be a major, major problem. So this is definitely the level to be watching right now here. Bitcoin is the indeed trading in large, large danger. And as long as we're not breaking above the top side of resistance, I still, we should be extremely cautious for the Bitcoin price action right now, because yes, there is still a potential. The Bitcoin price action could be falling down furthermore. There are also another important levels of support to be watching. You could also look at this downward sloping trend line right here from the high to low on the market. You can clearly see that this level also provided us uh, yeah significant resistance uh, yeah a couple well basically on this market so basically what we could be expecting is that in the coming days bitcoin could be maybe potentially reach an apex and then it's really going to choose a major major market direction and that is expected to be happening somewhere around the beginning of september september so in approximately 10 to 12 days from now on so probably the coming 10 days are going to be very boring for bitcoin but after that we could be starting to see that huge direction chains getting formed for bitcoin either up or either down and that is once again going to allow us to have an insane good trading opportunity also i think that this is a very good chart to see what happens if bitcoin breaks the upper sloping support line like you can see last time around it happened of course bitcoin fell very significantly two times in a row and due to that i would not like to see of course the break of this important support level right here so make sure to keep your both eyes on this level right here because in case we do break it bitcoin is definitely going to be in for some more problems furthermore we can currently also look at the super guppy indicator and if we're looking at the super guppy indicator we can basically see what currently is going on on bitcoin and why i do think that this is a right time to be buying because like you can see currently we are in the red and blue stage and historically 
technically speaking, once we're in that stage, Bitcoin tends to be always be at the bottom, just like it was in the pandemic low here, where you were seeing the red and the blue, just like you were seeing in the 2019 bear market, we were seeing the red and the blue. And just like we were seeing in 2015 bear market as well, where we saw the red and blue on the super guppy indicator. So please be very much aware we are currently getting signals from the super copy indicator that you are potentially buying bitcoin at a bear market low and that is of course definitely what you want to be doing right you want to be rather buy cheap bitcoin than expensive bitcoin so i do think that on the larger time frame this is a very good opportunity i don't expect bitcoin is going to be moving up today or tomorrow however on the longer run i do think that this is a right time for accumulation and if you're in this green and blue stage it means that you're in the bull market and usually buying exactly in the bull market is not always the best choice because you're buying in the middle of the big big hype train furthermore looking at bitcoin like i discussed yesterday as well here we can currently see that the hash ribbon has been crossing bullish again here and historically speaking always once the hash ribbons are flashing a buy signal it means that the market tends to be seeing a significant run-up getting formed yesterday i already broke down about all the levels what happened in the past and why it is such a big of a bullish indicator uh, and if you want to be seeing that make sure to watch yesterday's video but also if we're looking back even further more in the uh, yeah history of this indicator you can also see last time around it flashed here back before the bull market of 2017 in 2016 right here also this was a very good indicator uh, you can see it flashed right here and after that yeah everything what happened after that was basically history and once it crossed of course bearish that was the ultimate selling opportunity and once it did cross bullish again right here it was the ultimate buying opportunity once again so yeah this is definitely an indicator that you need to pay attention towards this is definitely one of the best indicators to use to determine either whether you want to be stepping in or whether you want to be stepping out of the market and right now it's giving us a very big buy signal so so make sure that you are going to be benefiting from this of course i don't expect that bitcoin is going to move up today or tomorrow because also like we have seen historically every single time we see a buy signal getting flashed here it can sometimes take up to 10 weeks before we're going to see that real uptrend getting started so please this is a lacking indicator and it's only suggesting that bitcoin is right now a good buy for the coming 20 to 30 weeks ahead of ourselves and i also do think that that is the right time horizon to be looking from of this point right here furthermore we can also see on the weekly time frame the big big resistance to be breaking for bitcoin and if i'm looking at that is of course first of all the downward slope resist line on the weekly time frame right here in order for me to flip extremely bullish i need to see a break above this trend right there furthermore you can also see in the weekly time frame the rsi also has been forming a significant downtrend and if we do break above these two levels on the rsi and on the price chart i personally think bitcoin could be entering extremely bullish markets but of course as long as we're not seeing that we should be not anticipating the bitcoin is going to be flying back up to let's say 50 or forty thousand dollars. but as soon as we do break above this level i will notify everyone here on the channel exactly what went down over there so don't forget to subscribe right now here so you will be not missing out on that one also i got a very big offer for any followers out there on the channel right now you can claim a free 1000 us dollar ethereum position in either a long or short if you sign up a new account on bybit using the highest link in the description if you deposit 1000 us dollars worth of any crypto and then you can go to rewards hub on bybit and claim your free 1000 us dollar ethereum long or short position so make sure to check it out it's limited limited time only and also limited availability and currently there's only 95 percent of the supply left for these free 1000 US dollar positions furthermore we can see to uh, the s p 500 that it is currently running in towards an important level of resistance you can clearly see the top side is providing significant rejections on the market and so far we are basically uh, yeah continuing the trend onwards towards the downside s p 500 had a significant rally and like we do know S&P 500 is highly correlated with Bitcoin and after basically getting the statement out that the Federal Reserve is probably going to be a little bit more hawkish we also saw right away the, yeah, the stock market coming down and the dollar index climb a little bit further while I was expecting the dollar index was potentially topping out it is coming back stronger right now here and due to the dollar index rising it also means that Bitcoin is having a little bit more of a struggle against the US dollar because yes that is also inverted correlated with each other just like it is doing with the s&p 500 so currently we could be looking 
for an even further potential correction here on the S&P 500. Maybe we're going to find some support on this level right here. But in case we do break down, it could be getting much worse for Bitcoin. Because yes, like we can see in comparison, Bitcoin has been not bouncing so strong compared to the S&P 500. And if the S&P 500 definitely falls once again towards new lows, Bitcoin is probably going to take even a bigger hit on that chart right there. So please be very much aware about it. It still can get much, much worse. And especially in towards the winter, we're expecting there's going to be higher oil consumption and there's going to be more energy costs and that could be bringing inflation up in Europe zones even further more towards the upside. So yeah, it's going to be a very strict winter. So please make sure that you are going to be ready for it. We could see potentially another very big correction over the course of the end of the year. The next year, definitely things are going to be looking more more brighter so yeah this was it for today's update video if you do like the content smash up the like button it was definitely a little bit of a longer video but there were many things to discuss on today's update uh, video so make sure to subscribe if you like the content i will be here every single day so don't forget to miss out on tomorrow's video so guys if you want to learn how to copy trade or if you want to learn how to trade in general check out the videos that are currently popping up above and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out goodbye